Hello, I'm Ada Jaffa, a graduate student in Master of Telecommunication Engineering. I came from Open University of Catalonia in Barcelona, Spain. I worked with Pere Tusset, an um, assistant professor, and uh, Xavier Villalosana, an associate professor of the same university. The topic we are going to talk about today is a wireless PID control of a thermal process using a ultra low cost long wave infrared camera. These type of cameras are becoming a key tool in the industry applications for about its ability to sense temperature without the physical contact. Nowadays, this type of cameras can be used for predictive maintenance of motors and other equipments in the industry. What we are going to show it is how a low-cost uh, long infrared camera, FLIR lepton in this case, can be used to control the intensity of the temperature of an incandescent light bulb by using a distributed PID controller. The system it is composed but th by three main subsystems. The first one it is the sensor actuation, the data processing, which is the cloud, and the real-time actuation. The sensor acquisition, it is composed by a microcontroller, a Cortex-M4, a Wi-Fi interface, which is the CC3100, and the camera, the free lepton. The camera acquires images from the light bulb, in this case. This camera, it is self-calibrated, that means that every one minute it self-calibrates to give um, good uh, temperature values. It takes the images from the light bulb and um, sends these images to the cloud. In the cloud, it is done the data processing. That means that the image, it is consolidated, are calculated the temperatures for each pixel, and uh, it is defined the peak value of the temperature, the maximum one. We have set a set point by the user. In this case, it is 65 grade Celsius. And with the maximum temperature of the image taken from the camera, it is performed a PID loop that um, returns a PWM value that is sent to the real-time actuator. In the real-time equ actuator, which is composed again by the microcontroller and the Wi-Fi interface, and also with a dimer, this um, date, uh, the PWM value are sent from the cloud to the real-time actuator and, uh, and it is performed the power control of the incandescent bulb via I2C communication. We can make an, ex an um, example by setting the temperature value that we want that this bulb have by 70 grade Celsius. As we can see, the current value, it is higher than the target value that we want. So the PHC control, we, the PWM, we set up to the maximum to 100 that can power up the light bulb and then it will compensate when the target value gets equal to the current value. So this bulb achieved to the uh, the temperature we want. The main idea of this project, it is uh, the cyber physical systems for uh, the, st the students because we are an open university, an online university, and we want that uh, the, si the students can um, see how the cyber physical system works by combining the communications, the computation, and also the embedded systems all in one, and they can remotely run from their homes and make different simulations to see how this type of systems work.